we begin with integral x minus x square upon x square minus 2x minus 3. Now you can see that what is the degree of polynomial in the numerator? It is 2. And what about degree of polynomial in the denominator? It is again 2. So here we have to divide numerator by denominator. Actually, here division is done indirectly. You know the direct method of division. Here I have done the division using indirect method because the procedure can be carried out easily. Now, x minus x square I have written as minus in bracket x square minus x. Now I will try to repeat denominator in numerator. For that what should be done? Original denominator is x square minus 2x minus 3. So I write this as x square minus 2x minus 3. Now in order to get the original numerator which is x minus x square, what should I do? I must write plus x plus 3. You can verify. So we have written the same in different form which is allowed. Remember we cannot write all together different thing. We have to write the same thing in different form. Now next part is simple. Split the numerator. So what is integral of sum? Sum of integrals. Of course minus sign is there. So it is minus integral dx minus integral x plus 3 upon x square minus 2x minus 3. Now I will try to express this numerator x plus 3 in terms of derivative of denominator. Now what is derivative of x square minus 2x minus 3? It is nothing but 2x minus 2. So in the next step i equal to minus x. Now tell me why minus x? Because integral dx is x but minus sign before that so minus x minus now x plus 3 I have written as half in bracket 2x minus 2 plus 4. I have written the same thing that is x plus 3 in different form which is allowed. Actually there is uh, another method. Uh, in fact this is a shortcut method. You can say that let uh, uh, numerator be a into d dx of denominator plus b and so on. But here I have written it. Uh, using indirect method, right? So minus x minus half integral 2x minus 2 upon x square minus 2x minus 3 minus 4 integral 1 upon x square minus 2x minus 3. Note that purposely we have written numerator as derivative of denominator. So in the next step it is minus x minus half integral derivative of denominator upon denominator now this is of which type? Integral f dash of x upon fx which is log of mod of fx. So in the next step I have written log of mod of x square minus 2x minus 3. Minus 4 into integral. Now observe this x square minus 2x minus 3. I have written it as x square minus 2x plus 1 by completing the square method. Again I will repeat we have to write the same thing but we can write it in different form. So for minus 3 I want plus 1. So to make hisa barabar I should say minus 4. Now this is x minus 1 ka square minus 2 square. Now this is of which type? Integral 1 upon x square minus a square. So use that result. So in the next step these terms as they are after that minus 4 into 1 upon 2a into log of mod of x minus 1 minus 2 upon x minus 1 plus 2 plus c of course where c is constant of integration and finally finally it is minus x minus half log of mod of x square minus 2x minus 3 minus log of mod of x minus 3 upon x plus 1 plus c. Is that clear? Okay. Again, this sum is again of the same type. Uh, integral x cube upon x square plus x plus 1. Here, numerator is x cube and denominator contains highest degree term as x square. So, the working rule is divide numerator by denominator. Actually, 
if you are not confident about using the indirect method of division then you can go for this method also so you are dividing x square uh, rather x cube by x square plus x plus 1 now i should write x cube as x cube plus 0 x square and so on i'm not going to explain all the steps x cube plus 0 x square plus 0 x right then uh, plus 0 now what next the next part the next part is divide x cube by x square to get x we write x in quotient and so on now next steps you should be able to write but here as numerator is just x cube see had it been uh, 3x cube minus 11x square plus 17x minus say 37 i would have used regular method but as numerator is very simple just x cube i can use indirect method of division right so what is x cube it is x into in bracket x square plus x plus 1 i cannot write all together different numerator i can write the same numerator in different form so i have written x into now why to repeat this because this happens to be the denominator so x into in bracket x square plus x plus 1 but in the process we have written x cube which is there plus x square which is not there so minus x square plus x immediately minus x denominator as it is now split numerator to get this minus this one now i can cancel this to get i equal to integral x dx minus this integral. Now what is integral x dx? It is x square upon 2 minus again x square plus x can be written as x square plus x plus 1 minus 1 denominator as it is. Right? So this is x square upon 2 minus integral again split the numerator to get 1 minus this. So x square upon 2 minus integral dx happens to be x this integral as it is now x square plus x can be written as x square plus x plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 now how to get this to get that term we have to square the 50 percent of the coefficient of x that is half coefficient of x square we add that term and we subtracting now you will ask me sir why one because it is already there in the denominator so it is x square by 2 minus x plus integral dx upon x square plus x plus 1 by 4 plus 1 minus 1 by 4 that is x square upon 2 minus x plus integral dx upon now this is square of x plus half now what is 1 minus 1 by 4 3 by 4 which is square of root 3 by 2 now this is of which type integral 1 upon x square plus a square now you will ask sir it is not x it is actually x plus alpha fine but as coefficient of x is 1 the result can be used as it is so it is integral 1 upon x square plus a square simple 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a it is better to actually mention that result here you have to mention standard result so you, if you apply that and simplify you get this as the final answer so it is what x square upon 2 minus x plus 2 by root 3 tan inverse 2x plus 1 upon root 3 plus c